Miss Early, you were living with your mother. That's Is that correct. right? You have a child. That's right. And the defendant is close. Friend of yours, she also has a child. Correct. And the two of you, alone with children, decided to move in together. Right. Because Miss Escobar, according to what I read in the papers, for some reason, whoever you were living with asked you to leave. Is that right? No. Who were you living with? I was living at my parents' house. You were living at your parents' house. And were you working? I was. And who was watching your baby? I pay a daycare to watch her. So why did you leave your parents' house? My dad had had a really bad heart attack, and it was time for me to leave so that my mom and the house could be readily available for him. Is that what she told you? No. OK, what did she tell you? She told me that her sister was going to take pictures of all of her paraphernalia and alcohol and send those pictures to DCFS. And so she wanted to get out before that had happened. So what happens? The two of you rented an apartment together. On what date? It was um, March 17th that we moved in. And shortly after that, the defendant wanted to move a boyfriend into the apartment. Correct. Are you the boyfriend? I am. So you wanted to move him in. And then there was sort of a kerfuffle because, according to both of you, you wanted the master bedroom with him. She was in the master bedroom already with her child. It was an argument. Things began to get a little dicey around the house. In any event, Miss Early left, and she wants her security deposit back. Right. OK. Did she pay the entire security deposit? No, she just paid half. Half. And how much did she pay? She paid $1,400. On what date did she move out, Miss Escobar? She moved out May 5th. Where were you living May 5th? Chelsea's house. Very good. So now you have a roommate. Right. Between March 17th and May 5th, Miss Escobar, do you allege that Miss Early did any damage to the apartment? Um, now look, look at me. Yeah. That's her... either a yes, yes. or a no. Yes. Do you have photographs of that I damage? I'd like to see the photographs of the damage. Okay. You just have to um, scroll Don't down. tell me what I have to do. I apologize. Those are boxes. That's not damage. Well, you hit the back button, and then it will open up more of them, and you can see the rest of the pictures. You're talking to me about trash. I don't see any damage. So in the bathroom, like, uh, the floors are stained. The carpet on the inside, she had thrown up on the carpet, and so there was a stain on the carpet, in the front, and in the hall. You have to return her security deposit, $1,400. That's to start with. Because if you and your boyfriend do damage to the apartment, that's your problem. Money owed for rent. What rent? So she moved out May 5th, and then she also didn't give Just me... Just a second. And did she pay for the five days in May? No. Is that correct? That is correct, because I was supposed to pay on May 5th, because I got paid on May 5th. She told me that was all right. I don't care when you're supposed to get paid. That's irrelevant. Right, and you she texted me Your behind that was in the house until five days right. in May. That's correct. Correct? And your share of the rent was how much? It was 800 because I was paying 100 extra Shh, for the master. Sure. Just answer my question, will you please? $130 is what you owe, so it's $130 so far that I'm deducting from your security deposit. Do you understand? Yes. $1,270. Property taken without permission. That's your counterclaim. What property did she take of yours without permission? I had a Samsung tablet, SA. Uh, that Just is a witnessing. second. Did you take her computer? No. Did you file a police report about the computer? I didn't. Good. Utilities. What utilities? For she what date? She didn't pay for utilities the entire for time she lived there. Okay. From March to April, did you pay any utilities for that period of time? No, because I grocery shopped three times and that money was supposed to cover the utilities. Is that the agreement that you made with her or is that what you're it making up now? It was just a verbal now? agreement. That you would do grocery shopping and she would pay for the utilities? Yes. Did you make that agreement with no, her? No, ma'am, Sounds I did not. ridiculous. Okay. Doesn't make sense. You have the receipts for the groceries? No, do I left have... them on the counter. Okay. And for the month between March and April, what were the utilities? About 400. Not about 400. Just look at your paper and tell me it how much you paid. $61 is what I paid total for utilities. Until when? That was until May 22nd is when I paid those. Well, she's not responsible to May 22nd. No, she is not. All right, I'm not dealing with the utilities. OK, you have to return her security deposit less the five days rent in May when she stayed there. So judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $1,270. We're done. Thank you very much.